I would say I've known Jesus for a long time. Jesus was a result of my Sunday school stories um, as a child. And as I continued to grow up, I think Jesus was really um, a part of how I understood church and my involvement in the church. So my, my relationship and my knowledge of Jesus, I think, has evolved over time as I have evolved and changed. So Jesus, I would say, is a companion, um, a reference point um, when I think about um, the, the ways in which um, I think about ethics, um, about justice. Jesus is that um, place, you know, I think that the what would Jesus do um, movement is still very much a part of my life. So, so I, I feel and I experience Jesus in that way. Um, I think I still um, see Jesus also as a part of the Trinity, even though my Christology tends to be low. Um, I think my Trinitarian understanding um, is still very high. And so um, I see Jesus as a part of the, of the Trinity, as a part of the Godhead. And in that, I would say that a lot of that understanding is also filtered through um, an understanding of the historical Jesus versus an understanding of, um, of, of Jesus, the Christ, who has evolved as a part of, uh, of Christian thought. I think I struggle most with um, some of the pictures and images that I've seen of Jesus over the years in many of our churches. Um, I struggle with white Jesus. Um, Jesus, um, that benevolent figure who is often seen holding a lamb and a staff, um, that, um, that understanding of, of Jesus as a shepherd feels very passive to me because I think of Jesus as an agitator, a prophet of his day, who was often, I think, in conflict with government, um, with religious leadership, and kept calling for an equity that his community, I think, struggled to really live into. So passive Jesus is really not um, my Jesus. I think my Jesus is a revolutionary. Um, my Jesus, I think, um, is, um, is one who is a strong advocate for the poor, not just speaking to the needs of the poor, but actually one who found ways to feed people and to really be a part of bringing about change in his day. That's my Jesus.